We have, um, in the recent election, seen uh, a big change in the way people are looking at the at the system. Uh, Lewis Black had a, a a line where he said that. 13% uh, of the American people would prefer to see a giant meteor strike the earth rather than Hillary or Trump um, be elected. And I, uh, so I went to the polls. I, I thought, yeah, meteor. I'll go with a meteor. And I um, got down there and um, the meteor wasn't on the ballot. And I, I, I couldn't vote for Hillary. Uh, the establishment um, wanting to give yet another amnesty to illegal aliens to bring another 10 or 20 million people in to take our jobs. NAFTA GATT, ship your job overseas. Bring in cheap Chinese stuff made by slave labor so that we can't... Uh, uh, American manufacturers can't compete then our manufacturing base is destroyed um, and the American economy just goes down the tubes from there and all they're cooperating with that just, just give the rich people another giant tax break they have no need for and um, uh, this is, this is all you have to do to pay for it, is to destroy your own country. Just to burn it to the ground. So people are mad. They threw a monkey wrench into the ballot box. They voted for Trump. I voted for Trump. They're getting madder. The next thing they're going to want to drop in the ballot box is a hand grenade. Now, you know, there certainly there are very aggravating conditions like people are afraid of getting sick. And it's getting to where just ordinary health coverage, you know, which is just taken for granted in Canada and, and England, uh, which don't even have much more taxes than we do for, for middle class people or the workers. It's taken for granted there. Um, but we don't have much of it and we might be losing what we got. Um, you might be like in the position I am. Well, I'm 62, I'm disabled, but they won't give me disability. So I don't get Medicare. I got Social Security of 612 a month if they don't take that away. Not happy. And then you look at the young people, and um, I went into the to the uh, labor market in well just before 1975. And in 1975, I I bought a brand new international pickup truck with a 345 V8 and a four-speed on it, three-quarter ton truck, for four thousand dollars. Today a truck with the same specs as that would cost 40000 um, and it would be made of mostly plastic and it, it wouldn't last like the international. It has all these miracles of modern technology on it so that you know it gets another couple, I don't know what, another 15 percent better gas mileage or something like that. But whenever it won't run right it costs you $300 to find out what's wrong and and three hundred dollars more to get it fixed, and uh, and you, the truck is down for a week if you have six hundred dollars. So the young people today are looking up, and they're being told, "Well, you know, <laughs> we've we've gone from the manufacturing approach to things to the service to services. We're taking in each other's washing." We're working at McDonald's, flipping hamburgers and junk food. We're feeding each other unhealthy food, and we know it. We're eating it. We're feeding other people. We know it isn't any good. And people are mad. And they're getting madder. 
And that's where you see these things like, I think, Evergreen College, I, they can't be mad about the stuff they say they're mad about. The patriarchy. Oh, come on. The patriarchy and racism, which, uh, I mean, I, I was around when there was racism. I remember Jim Crow, the Freedom Riders, and Martin Luther King. But these people don't. They don't know what it was like. They don't know that once upon a time the United States was a place where if you were black, that made that was way different. That wasn't snide remarks and little glances out of the sides of the eyes. It was baseball bats. And people being hung from trees and light lamp posts. It wasn't a joke. But the people are madder today. And they're mad because the American dream's been taken away from them. Two cars in every garage? <laughs> if you've got one car and it runs, you're doing damn well. Most of the people that have two cars have them both parked out on the front lawn. Neither one of them runs. They can't even get to the grocery store. And it's hard to get a job and get anywhere when you don't have a car. And if you don't have a job, then it's hard to get a car. And they're being kept down, and they know they're being kept down. People are not as stupid as you think they are. You watch these videos where they say, Somebody, what, uh, what continent is uh, Europe in? Eurasia. Oh, <laughs> no, uh, uh, wrong. Uh, yeah. Who cares whether they know what continent Europe is, or is in, or whatever? Who cares if they can't spot Australia? I mean, I don't know, I've, I've watched some of those things. It's, it, it's kind of funny how, how wrong people can have things. But, but that's, not, that's not the problem. The people are, are mad, and they're getting into this thing that we saw like during the Vietnam War where um, people like me were, were uh, we thought well, well we'll we'll get a whole bunch of us and we'll march down the street and they'll pay attention and they did because there were so many of us and Martin Luther King said it would you know that this would work and he was right it did work and uh, together we beat Jim Crow well, today, there's a lot more of those people that want to throw rocks and bottles and take bats and, and stuff like that and beat up on people and shoot the cops and all this kind of crap. You know, like, well, he's a cop. Yeah, is he like one of those sons of bitches that pulls people over that weren't speeding and writes them a speeding ticket and lies in court? He might be. He might also be the one there's a, 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 a video about that very issue um, where they have a cop and he's playing with his kids and stuff like that. And he was just appalled at being asked to do that. Having quotas set for traffic stops, tickets, arrests, and all that kind of thing. He was just appalled. Why can't I do my job? And he ended up losing his job. But... This violence, we're not going to lose. It's it's coming on. And what they had that thing at the ballpark and somebody shot some Republican um, congressman. Now, you're, you know, there's an awful lot of nasty, nasty Republicans in Congress. And I'm not going to sit here and cry for those people. You know, I mean, uh, I've got sympathy for the poor people that have nothing to eat. You know, and um, all the people in this world that haven't got a chance. I have sympathy for people like the Kurds working the, their tails off to, to try and make their homeland theirs. And everybody is out after them. Uh, Saddam gassed them and just uh, when they're, now they have to fight off ISIS and it's just on and on and on. But, you know, there's a funny thing. Look, those people are cheerful. And 
maybe it has to do with having a society where basically you're okay. You know you're going to have somewhere to live. If you get sick, somebody will help you. They don't have the hospital like we got, but uh, as low as our health care has gone, I, maybe what they've got might just be just as good. But they're, they're shooting these legislators and the politics of assassination is basically a, a non-starter. So I'll say to the people who uh, are willing to take somebody's life to, uh, to advance their political position, I obviously can't convince you that it's wrong, but I would suggest to you that it won't work. What you're going to do is bring down more to, uh, more repression, because those people are in power, they're gang, and they're going to stay if they can. And yet, if they stay, you're screwed. And that's where we're getting more and more people that are saying, "I don't care if it won't work. I want to burn it down. I want to light the courthouse on fire and not have an election." And this is, this is what they said, you know, in the late 30s in Germany. And they decided to drop the hand grenade in the ballot box and they came up with Adolf Hitler. We haven't got the demagogue yet. The American people haven't reached the touch point of the anger and frustration uh, that lights off violent revolutions. But if you look at what's lit off violent revolutions in the past, there's no reason to think that we're very far short of it. Consider this a warning. Not to the liberals, not to the conservatives, not to the establishment. Uh-uh. To everybody. This thing is in danger of going really, really wrong. And if it does, there's a good chance we'll never be able to fix it. You know, it'll be like however bad it was when Saddam Hussein was in there. Of course, if you were a Kurd getting gassed, it was pretty bad. But uh, however bad it was, um, it was even worse, uh, you know, when the shooting was all going on and your house was getting blown up. Look at these people that lived in Beirut during the uh, the war there for years. You could be like a little old lady walking down to the grocery store and somebody would shoot you because you were on the wrong side of the street. Well, they're Christians over on that side of the street. Nail her. Boom. Well, that little three-year-old kid there chasing the ball, he's on the Muslim side of the street. Pow! Yeah. And once that kind of stuff starts happening, you, you're not going to just wish it away. I have a little list to ask you. Um, to click on the cat um, and subscribe. I don't know why I have a cat. Everybody else has a, a little uh, kind of a a red uh, tab brick kind of thing and and I don't and I was just gonna put a regular subscription thing in there although I like my cat so that's oh, he was a very nice cat um, comment in the comment section sir there let's let's discuss this you know like maybe some people have some ideas that you need to see maybe you have some ideas other people need to see you know, let's talk about this a little bit and see if we can find our way through some of this stuff. Um, if you like the video, please uh, uh, click on the like button. And if you didn't like the video, well, I... If you have to, there is that other thumb that goes down. And you can, if you really want to do that. But do click on the cat, look at some of my other videos, and and subscribe, what the heck. You can always just skip over them when they come up. If, ah, it doesn't sound interesting, just skip over it. 
see you next video. Actually, I won't, will I? You'll see me, but I won't see you.